I have only ever left my body on one occasion. And that one occasion was a complete and utter accident. In my degenerate weed smoking days at university, I took too much. Took too much is definitely not the correct term. I smoked too much one afternoon. I went to pass out, as you do normally in my bedroom. I was lying face down with my hands kind of side by side on my head. And I was very conscious of how heavy my body was in this moment. And it kept getting increasingly more heavier to the point where I was physically, I had the intention, nervous intention to move my fingers and my hands to try and wake myself up because I was getting this super scary sinking feeling. It's like you're sinking into darkness and you literally become a passenger inside your body. And the astral practitioners among you call this uh, mind awake, body asleep. I then transitioned to this time where I was getting these very intense vibratory kind of experiences on the periphery of my uh, body. This is where things got really, really scary and I started panicking. I remember rolling, I can't remember if it was the left or right, moving, my, my, my observation was kind of much lower than my body, almost like I was sinking into the bed and down into the floor. And I was trying to, I was trying to roll, roll my body, but I ended up rolling my perspective kind of under, coming out, up underneath the bed, seeing myself, and then in a second, I was back inside my body. Now, I don't know if this was a hallucination. I don't know if I actually left my body in that experiences, but I do know that people are leaving their bodies every single night. So I thought I would share the ultimate guide as per Diced Ice Done in respects to how one can astral travel, uh, astral project every single time. And you can do this tonight, well, early this morning, as you'll see here in just a moment. So I really want you guys to show this uh, post a lot of love. It's one of the top posts on the astral projection, um, projection uh, Reddit forums. And I use this to get to the vibratory stage, but I haven't actually transitioned beyond my body as of yet. But I will update you in how my progress is going because you can do this and integrate this into your routine fairly easy. But I'm digressing here. So, hey, guys, I'm actually pretty new to this. Uh, been forcefully projecting for about a month. I've had maybe three to four experiences in my life now outside of my body. I've been using this method and it works for me too, every single time. Last night, I was able to astral project five times. I hope you also get similar effects. So I'm going to go through the steps and I'm probably going to prop up some of the most important points for you to focus on when you are going to astral project. So beginning with Number one, this is the system you're going to use. Go to sleep at your regular time. However, set an alarm for three quarters of when you actually need to get up. For example, this individual sleeps for eight hours, so he sets his alarm for six. When the alarm goes off, get up. I found it helps if you get up by lifting your back first. So the idea is if you're um, what do they call this, supine in the bed, you're hinging at the hips and you're bringing your upper back off the bed first. And this is important to get into this pattern because this, this is the similar, similar reflex or movement pattern that you're going to need to know when you uh, leave your body. Once you get out of bed, chill for about five to 10 minutes. Use the bathroom if you need. I always use the bathroom when I do this. Close your bedroom door Go back to bed, laying on your back. And this is the most important part. Keep your body straight and your arms to your sides. And then you have to have powerful intention in your mind. You need to repeat over and over again in your mind. I will wake up soon and I will astral project. Or I will wake up soon and I will leave my body. Any affiliation of that. Because that gives your mind the intention uh, you need in order to actually transition into this behavior. Now you're going to do this. You're going to say this mantra over and over again until you fall asleep. If for whatever reason you cannot fall asleep, you can try it on your side. However, the, the results work best on your back. And I've also found this. I feel, I find when I go to sleep, I have such a strong association with just deep REM sleep that I can't get that kind of experience. So 
your your body position is a kind of reference point for the behavior that you want and you need to condition supine sleeping if you're not familiar with sleeping that way with uh, astral projection like behavior or lucid dreaming behavior the most important thing however is to keep your body straight i found using noise cancelling headphones with no audio just turning on the noise cancelling helps me but these are not necessary at all now when you wake up do not move breathe normally this is going to be challenging at first but it becomes easier the more you practice and you build up that muscle if you accidentally move a little bit it's usually okay but again try and keep your body in that position as soon as you wake up if you think oh no i messed up and it's not going to work then of course it's not going to work because your intention has messed up the projection keep positive it will work Again, a lot of stress here on intention that this is going to happen. Close your eyes immediately and then imagine your body rocking and swaying from side to side. Okay, Tense your muscles as if you are moving, but do not actually move. Move your eyes from side to side in the same direction as you are imagining your body is rocking. Keep them closed. Now, this is really difficult to describe. But the way I like to do this is more of a, a visualization first. In your mind's eye, you're imagining you're rocking and then you'll begin to feel kind of, you'll get sensory kinesthetic feedback of you doing that motion, but without kind of any muscular contractions. So you want to imagine yourself rocking from side to side, keeping your eyes closed. I believe there's a little bit of insight here from the apprehensive soup 73 for the wording. Tense your arms and leg muscles in rhythm with how your eyes are moving, just like if you're rocking yourself in a hammock, but not actually moving. Again, you're imagining the momentum is there, but you're not you're not physically tensing your muscles, right? It's, it's more the that kind of neural connection you have there with that kind of rocking motion, but no, not actually moving. If you are successful, you will feel everything vibrating. And I did this this morning at 6 a.m. and I was vibrating. A little bit of insight here is the, the vibrating part is anxiety inducing. Uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up my ass and tell you that I was a very, very stoic through it. But um, you know, I've had experience of this being, you know, fairly disconcerting and unsettling. The most important part I'm starting to realize is calming yourself down is imperative to getting the outcomes that you want there so just i'll keep reading here if you're successful you'll feel everything vibrating keep swaying going faster and faster as the vibrations get stronger try to do a complete 360 rotation eventually the vibrations will be huge and you will feel like you are rolling off the bed or rotating into empty space now this is the stage that i haven't quite got to yet i get the vibrations but i haven't yet managed to roll out when this happens, gently and slowly lift your back and you will detach from your body. I found if I lift myself up too quickly, I will just wake up or actually lift myself in real life. Your eyes should still be closed during all of this. Do not open them. If you open them, that you and then you will wake up. So go through this slowly is the point that this individual is stressing, which is conducive to success. Now, once you are out of your body with your eyes still closed, float on the floor towards the door handle as if you were going to reach out and grab it. Usually, I will not be able to see anything, so I just imagine my door handle and me floating on the floor towards it. Slowly, as you begin to touch things, your sense of vision will start to form without you opening your eyes. When you get to the handle, feel it and open the door, go out of your breath, bedroom and feel the wall right next to your door keep feeling and following the wall as you float and crawl through your home since the layout of your home is something that you will know without even thinking about this helps ground your experience and gets your vision going this is a very curious what would you say evolution of the experience that you need to use your your reference points in your memory in order to start discerning the visual input from your astral body very quickly you will have full vision and be able to walk normally around your house as soon as this happens touch and inspect objects how does this feel what's the texture see if you can read anything that has text on it this will make things more real and prolong your experience 
then you can go out of your house and explore. Remember to keep touching things. That gives you the visual input. When you wake up, you can go straight back to sleep. It will be much easier now if you're able to do it once. You'll more likely have multiple experiences that night. Just to add, this individual has never meditated, uh, never meditated before and it still works. So great for anyone trying to astral project for the first time with no spiritual meditation experience. Let me know what you guys think and if it works for you. So like I said, guys, this is our appreciation to this individual here because this is a profoundly comprehensive uh, set of instructions to help you astral project every single time with success. I will reiterate, I've got to the vibratory stage, but I haven't yet been able to detach my astral body from my physical body. And there are remarkable accounts in this forum that if you're interested in, I will do more videos on if you would like to see more of that content. That, you know, I mean, I, I think the perspective I'm coming from here is I've been meditating so long that I know that I'm not my body. And I don't know if I'm inhabiting my astral body in these moments, but I know that you are not your body and you are not your mind. And astral projection has been something that I've never really been skeptical about. I've lucid dreamt before. I always like to say, if you can live lucidly, meaning if, if you can be present, then lucid dreaming is, is fairly simple. And astral projection is a layer, I believe, below lucid dreaming uh, itself when you're able to completely detach from your physical body, inhabit the astral, and then go uh, exploring. Really interested to see the comments here. It would be funny if you weren't actually projecting, but crawling through your home and your neighborhood with your eyes closed. That's a great, that's, uh, <laughs> that'll be interesting. It'll be an interesting revelation there. People are concurring one of the best methods that they also use as well. People are gonna try it. But yes, gentlemen, I thought it would be only a matter of time before I introduce some astral projection content on this particular channel here, as you all have a love for the esoteric and the uh, more magic and occult side of things. Let me know, guys, if you'd like me to share a little bit more about my astral projection journey, and if you would enjoy me introducing a little bit more of the uh, stories here in this particular Reddit forum and adding a little bit of my color when I begin to get more experienced uh, in this particular practice. Um, these are not theories, gentlemen. These are facts. Speak soon.